Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start out with something that I'm very 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 excited about and it is a new series on my channel. I'm not sure what I will call it or anything like that but I have decided to make a lifestyle change. I know that things are hard now straight after uh, Christmas and New Year's and I mean we've been eating so much Christmas food and it's been delicious. Now it's time to get back to routines, do a little bit more exercise, eat a little bit more nutritious foods and just overall uh, be happier with how you feel. So I'm not sure how long I will be doing these series, but it will be like a weekly update on how everything is going. Um, I'm gonna set some goals that I really want to reach and then we'll see how I do. And this is also something I would love for you to do with me. Um, that is why I'm making these series. Because if you've thought about doing this as well, um, it's so much easier, in my opinion, to do it with someone else. So, if you want to do it, this is your time. So I already made some New Year's resolutions and I know that a lot of people don't believe in them, but I actually really like them. A New Year is like a fresh start, in my opinion. I know a lot of people don't feel like that, but I do. So I made some New Year's resolutions and some of them are going to be here as well. So when I say that I want to change my lifestyle, it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to lose weight or that I just want to eat healthy or whatever. Um, I have a lot of goals in mind that I really want to reach. And I recently heard someone talking on a podcast and they said that you have to work on your mental health before you can work on your physical health. Um, and I don't agree at all. I think that um, you can work on your mental health while you're working on your physical health. Um, they're really connected and one thing leads to the other in my opinion. Um, as some of you may already know, I have been struggling a little bit um, this year with mental struggles and being in activity for example, it really helps me with my mental health. It makes me feel like I'm lost or something, I get so much energy from it, I'm being more productive. So I get a lot of mental benefits from being in activity, so yeah. but. Enough talking, we are going to write down our goals. So first of all, I want to be more productive. So a goal of mine will be to wake up earlier. So in the weekdays, when I'm not going to work at the school I'm working on, I want to be up at 8 a.m. at the latest. So I'm going to write that down. Wake up 8 a.m week days and I say 9 a.m. weekends. This is really just because I want to be more productive, I want to do more with my day. Yeah, it really makes me more productive to wake up earlier because I mean you get a lot done and waking up late really just unmotivate me to do anything so yeah we have to wake up early that's a goal also i want to um go for more walks um the gyms are closed here in norway right now uh, a lot of places at least so we're going to do some uh, home workouts but i really also want to get out more often than now so a goal is also going to be two walks a week um, this is just the minimum goal. I really want to get out like three or four times a week, but I really want to set a minimum of two uh, walks a week. So two walks a week. I also want to get in two strength workouts. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I usually work out like five days a week. And um, I haven't done that in a while now. I've been struggling to get to the gym. And I've also been struggling to find motivation to work out at home. So two workouts a week, strength workouts, is actually pretty, it's actually a pretty big goal for me. Um, although it doesn't sound like it's a big goal, it is for me. 
I also want to re read more. I am a little bit better than I was, uh, but I really want to read a lot to to like get more information about stuff. So I'm also going to write two hours reading each week, every week. So two hours, it means to read in a book, not on articles or on social media <laughs> or anything like that, but two hours of reading in a book a week. Um, what is really important when you're making lists like this is not to make the goal uh, too big because you'll never be able to do it and you'll lose motivation and you just give up. So set realistic goals for yourself. Don't let them get too big because you will never finish it and you will just feel miserable afterwards. I also want to keep the house clean. I really like to tidy up the house and wash and clean and everything like that but um, it goes in waves so sometimes I can be like totally productive and, and wash and, cle and clean and everything all the time but then I have days where I just leave it but I know I feel so much better when I actually do the dishes, wash the floors, wash the clothes, everything. I feel so much better mentally when there's no mess around me. So for my own mental health I want to um, clean consistently. <laughs> then um, I also want to do some changes with my foods so I want to eat less processed food so I'm gonna write that down and I also want to get in like the five fruit and vegetables rule. I'm not sure if they have it like everywhere, but in Norway it's like it is recommended to eat um, two fruits and three vegetables each day. So when you say two fruits and three vegetables, it is 100 grams of per serving. So, so one fruit is like 100 grams of something and one vegetable is 100 grams of something so I want to include that I really want to get in that every single day because I'm very bad at eating greens and uh, fruits we have a lot of goals now and they are pretty specific um, I could have just said eat healthier but I wouldn't know what that meant so just having really specific goals it really helps you to actually execute it. So if you want to make a list like this, make it a little bit more specific. Don't just say work out every single day or eat healthy or drink more water. They're not specific. So um, say what do you want to change in your diet? What do you want to change about your workouts? What? How much water do you want to drink each day? Or in a week or whatever and start small not big I've learned by doing this a lot of times because when I first did this I had a lot of big goals and it just none of them ever worked the last goal that I have is to lose uh, a little bit of fat and build a little bit more muscle um, so I'm going to do some physique check-ins and that's because right now I'm not comfortable with my fat percentage and I think that's okay to say because you know your body and you know what you're comfortable with and when you feel your best it doesn't have to mean that you have to look exactly like me or that you have to lose fat or anything like that this is me this is my personal opinion about where I feel confident um, how I like my body, how I feel comfortable in my own skin and I don't think that's wrong to say and I want to document it with you because I want you to see that if you want to make a change you don't have to do a lot to get the results that you want, okay? So I'm going to take some pictures of myself, of my body um, and every week I will show you how my body looks then and see if there's any changes. I'm not gonna do any drastical changes. 
This list is the changes that I'm making. Please don't take this the wrong way. I know it's a very sensitive subject to talk about losing weight and losing fat and everything like that. And I don't want you to think that you have to do it. If you are comfortable with where you are right now, good for you. That's the best thing. But I'm not. And when I'm not comfortable where I am, I have to make some changes. That's why I do it. Okay? Not because anyone says that you have to look like that, you have to look like that. No. I want to feel confident and comfortable in my body. And I know where I want to be. To be the most comfortable, confident and strong, really. Because I haven't worked out in a while and I want to get back to where I was. That's it. And I was really scared to tell you guys this because... Uh, I just hope you won't take it the wrong way. For me, it's not a big deal, but I know that it is for a lot of people and that's why I'm saying it. And that's it. That's my list. Here it is. Here's how it looks. And I'm confident that I will do this, that I will be able to reach my goals. And if you guys want to do this with me, please write a list, send it to me, let me know what your goals are, and then we can do this together. Start the new year with some changes that's good for your mind and your body. You know, I talk a lot about mental health. That is the most important thing in my life. And it should be prioritized in yours. As well I know that when people um, hear a healthy lifestyle they think going to the gym and eating healthy but living a healthy lifestyle does not mean that at all working out and eating nutritious foods they're just a small part of it there's a lot more that goes into it I'm so ready okay I was supposed to do this yesterday because yesterday was Monday, but we did it today instead, so it's Tuesday. And this is going to be my first video of this series. From now on, after this video goes live, I'm going to do a weekly update. I'm going to film if I do something that I feel are worth mentioning. I'm going to do an update every Sunday, tell you about my mental health, if I felt um good tired not good whatever okay i'm very excited i hope you guys want to do this with me so that if you feel like you want to do some changes we can do them together it's okay to fall it's okay to mess up it's okay that you don't do what's on your list every week that's just a part of life and it's important to fail as well but I feel like it's easier to do it together, okay? So if you want to make some changes, please do them with me and we'll have like an update and uh, a chat every single Sunday or Monday. Sunday or Monday, I'm not sure where when I will post, but Sunday, Monday. Ooh, I'm excited. Um, hope you guys are as well. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and Hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay. <laughs> Say goodbye. Say goodbye, cuckoos. He doesn't look that happy. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye.